people in Branson, Missouri know that they were luckier. No one was killed there. Officials in Branson tell us today that they'll be open for tourist season a little bit later this month. A few music venues and hotels were seriously damaged when the tornado hit, but the folks there got more warning than usual because of a new kind of radar, and we asked Mark Strassman to show it to us. At 12.58 yesterday morning, forecasters issued a tornado warning for Branson, Missouri. People there had 25 minutes to take cover, double the national average. That's because local forecasters used a new technology that identified the tornado. It's called dual polarization radar, or dual pole, the most significant upgrade to tornado tracking in 20 years. Jack Hayes is the director of the National Weather Service. When a tornado forms, with the radar we have today, it's like a one-dimensional view of that storm. We're going to get a two-dimensional view that will allow us to detect the difference between heavy rainfall that occurs in storms all the time and debris that a tornado can kick up. Why does that make a difference? You can't see a tornado at night. Here's the image of the Branson tornado taken by older one-dimensional radar. That orange box indicated a possible tornado. The new dual pole radar was sensitive enough to spot flying debris. That's what the blue boxes represent. Proof the twister was on the ground. This is the rotation. This is the area of the tornado. Meteorologist Lance Rotfus works at the National Weather Center station outside Atlanta. He says dual pole's biggest advantage is detail. We think that most of these debris uh, particles are probably pine straw, grass, leaves, these kinds of things. Another new potential lifesaver is an upgrade to America's weather alert system. The country's major cell phone service providers have agreed to send automatic text message alerts like this to everyone in a storm zone by the end of the year. 44 of the new radars are up and running in parts of the country that are prone to tornadoes. And Scott, the National Weather Service plans to install 160 of them by the end of this year. Thanks, Mark. Those systems can't be installed soon enough if 2012 is anything like last year. 550 people were killed by tornadoes in 2011, and that is a lot more than we're used to. Over the past 10 years, there were, on average, only 56 tornado deaths a year.